everybody should take a self-defense class. Not only was it fun, but you learn a lot and it's very educational. Now on Local 5, would you, could you fight back against an attack? Good evening, thank you for joining us. Tom Zalaski has the night off. I'm Michelle McCormack. New tonight at 10. It's a decision that has to be made under the most dire of circumstances. The decision to fight back or go along when confronted by a criminal. Tonight, the best advice from those who know in their own words and with their own hands. In order to create this awareness campaign of a week without violence, we asked the Green Bay Police Department if they'd be willing to partner with us and host some kind of self-defense workshop. Two shots. One, two. We talked um, a little bit about situational awareness. We talked about fear management skills. And we did some physical drills as well as some defensive tactics drills in order to help them in situations where they might be faced with a, you know, a sudden assault or things of that nature. There are things that they can do just even mentally as well with their situational awareness skills to avoid danger, to avoid situations where potentially things can happen. Women are the ones who need the training the most because they need to know how to protect themselves and how to defend themselves. So I decided to take the class just to try to prepare myself on the community. Is it probably going to happen? You know, are they probably going to be victims of crime? Um, statistically, probably not. But then again, very rare over the years that I haven't been involved in a car accident, but I still pay the premium every month. It's another aspect, right, of, of being a woman in today's world. It's unfortunate, but um, whatever we can do to prepare ourselves, whether it's physical or mental or, you know, again, through educational programs, um, we need to be able to take care of ourselves, and this is one of those ways. I feel like I'm a whole new person. It's going to make me more prepared in the real world when situations happen. And that was Local 5's Olivia Telmage behind the camera for us tonight. For more events related to this week's Week Without Violence in Green Bay, just go to our website, wearegreenbay.com. An update now on that statewide search for three-year-old Major Harris. Milwaukee police make several arrests in the shooting death of the mother of the missing toddler. Police emphasize to our affiliate reporter in Milwaukee that the people in custody are for the death of Mallory Musenberger of Onalaska. The arrests are not related to the disappearance of three-year-old Major Harris. The child's family says they are frustrated with the lack of answers and communication from police. How can you look for somebody and you not search lakes and stuff like that? It's a three-year-old little boy. I'm not understanding any of this. The Milwaukee Police Department is a joke, period. Officials say they found blood in the car at the center of the Amber Alert. They're still waiting for the test results. Making national headlines, another strange turn in the murder investigation of YouTuber Gabby Petito. Investigators found human remains in a Florida park along with her missing fiance's backpack and notebook. Our colleagues at News Nation have also confirmed that Brian Laundrie's parents were part of the search today. Search crews have been to the park before, but only recently did water levels drop. The medical examiner is now working on identification. A guilty plea today in the February 2018 mass shooting at a Parkland, Florida high school. 23-year-old Nicholas Cruz pled guilty to 17 counts of murder and 17 more counts of attempted murder. He faces a minimum life sentence, but the prosecution says it plans to ask the jury for the death penalty during the sentencing phase. Cruz apologized to the victim's families and said he was pleading guilty for them. In coronavirus news now, Green Bay Public Schools Head Start Learning Center East is closing temporarily because of COVID. The school shutting down through October 29th because of the number of students and staff who are either out sick or have to be out because of quarantine and a close contact. Head Start East should reopen November 1st. Families can pick up meals starting next Monday between 11 and 1 at door 4. The FDA authorizes booster shots for all COVID-19 vaccines. The Moderna booster shot gets the green light for senior citizens and those with underlying health conditions or risky living situations. This booster is half the dose and given six months following the patient's last shot. As for the Johnson & Johnson booster, the FDA says everyone who got this vaccine should get the second dose at least two months following their first shot. The next step is CDC approval. The agency's advisory panel is scheduled to meet tomorrow for a vote. 
Meantime, the White House rolled out its plan once the COVID vaccine is approved for children 5 to 11. In early November, they hope to have the vaccine available in what they call kid-friendly spaces, including pediatric centers and primary care providers. The FDA meets next week to discuss authorizing the Pfizer vaccine for young children. The CDC then meets the following week. Here now is a look at the latest Wisconsin numbers. 26 more deaths related to COVID-19, more than 2,000 new cases overall. The Delta variant case count now stands at more than 9,600. Green Bay's new water sewage district says it's working with farmers, homeowners, and cities and towns to improve water quality. They did a small pilot project in rural Silver Creek. It involved installing buffer or filter strips, ditches, and targeted planting. Well, this time around, the Wisconsin DNR helped them identify Ashwabanan and Dutchman Creeks as areas in need of reducing sediment amounts that are released into the lower Fox River. With a lot of math and a lot of background information, uh, what that equates to is we have pounds that we as a treatment facility have to reduce. And so we're allowed to reduce those pounds from our action areas. And everyone's asked to clear yard debris and not let that debris block storm drains. Well, we've heard the warnings about rising energy costs. Coming up, how to manage your heating bills this winter. We've got some key waves that you can save.